Hey, hello. You're stuck at Charles Wolf Court. A few minutes riffing on IT and IT security part two, day two, looking at uh, the threesome website, um, three fun and some of the findings there. Now, I will post a link in the comments so you can read more. However, the pen test partners did an analysis of several dating apps, including three fun, which is the threesome app. And they found uh, that you could find people, geolocate them. You could view images, even if the permissions were set, um, you could get, you know, gender and preference and date of birth, a bunch of information from the application, uh, all by calling the API. So the tip for you is this, remember to secure your APIs. We oftentimes forget that, right? I mean, we kind of got better in the web apps app world where we'd say, hey, look, you know, don't trust the UI, don't trust the interface, um, set it in the back end, right? But as the world has moved more towards a RESTful API model, we seem to have forgotten that. We're not necessarily doing the validation we used to do. So, for example, in the app, you may be able to set permissions um, and that says, I can't view an image. Um, but the API in the back end is fetching that image from S3 Bucket. <laughs> and the S3 Bucket is, of course, as they almost always are, misconfigured. And therefore, if you have that URL to an image, you can pull it back even if the app would put, block it because the app says, well, there's permissions in place. You can also use the app to say, find people near me. Cool, groovy. And then the app takes your geolocation and passes it along. However, you can also grab any geolocation address, right? Latitude and longitude, and use the API to call up anyone around you. And so uh, check out the link. They they tried a whole bunch of different locations, including like 10 Downing Street and and uh, the White House uh, to various effect. <laughs> And so what happens is we tend to think, well, no one's gonna mess with the API. We tend to think, well, you know, we've got the controls in the UI, it's all good. But the reality is, is that it's very simple with uh, most tools to call the API and make the API do whatever you want. And therefore we need to have the same level of controls in place on the API side as we do on the UI side. We need to be doing the same level of testing on the API side as we do on the UI side. We need to be able to get early on the dev cycle, and when we're building stuff in the API, involve the security team and say, hey, what nefarious things could you do? And a red teamer might go, you know what would be cool is if I threw in whatever latitude and longitude I wanted in and got people back. Hey, could you do that? Those types of conversations that would only happen if you invite the red team in or you know, security analysts, a threat-minded security analyst, doesn't have to be the right team, into the design meetings very on in the process. So and so. <laughs> Check out 3Fun because this is a case study of doing just about everything wrong. And if you're building mobile apps, your organization, make sure that you've got a good STLC, that you've got the red team doing um, reviews with the user stories and coming up with abuse cases that match those stories and that you get some pen testing going on and that bottom line you're considering these APIs as potential threat factors because people are not going to stop the UI they never have they never will <laughs> and what do you think hit me up in social media or in comments thanks